Hello everyone! In today's video we'll be creating a game called Robo Trumps. It's really self-explanatory. It's just a game of trumps, however, Robo Edition. This project is by Code Club. Stay till the end so you can find out how to play this game with your friends. Remember that you can add many things to your game. And make sure you share this project with me with the email codewithzinep at gmail.com. And if you want me to talk about anything in the end of the video, then message me on my Instagram, codewithzinep. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, let's get on to the video. So to get everything set up, you just need to go on Raspberry Pi website, like I am now, and just go on Code Club, and then on Python Module 2, scroll down and you'll see a project and it'll be about Robo Trumps. Click on that and then you'll see it here. Um, if you need a blank Python 3 canvas, then click on that and then it'll take you right to that page. And there'll just this is just a starter page with the card's text. I suggest that you get code plus plan with trinkets so then you can carry on making unlimited python 3 projects let's code so as you as i said before the cards text includes this it's just the data for each these are just three of the like characters which you can type in of the cards so each line has data about a robot and they get separated by commas right now so they have name intelligence rating and how long the battery lasts and the image file name. So first let's read the data from the file so then we can use it. I'm just going to write file equals open cards.txt so just open that and read. And then here I'm going to do file. Then just up here in the middle there I'm going to write print File dot read like that, and there you go. Just prints out what it reads inside that. Um, it's always good. Like I wrote here, it's always good to close the file when you've finished with it. So that gives us a file in one string, and we need to break it down into individual pieces of data. So to do that, I'm going to write file dot read, and here I'm going to write dot split lines, and then. So there it just split the lines up as you can see. If we look carefully at, at the output, there are three items in each list. Each one is a line from a file. Now let's loop over those lines one at a time. So instead of writing print, I'm going to write for line in then file dot read dot split lines. And I'm going to change the end bracket into a colon and we're going to write print line. So there you go, now it just splits it up and it's looped. The printing is just to test it out. Let's write name, battery, intelligence. So this is what it's going to do. It's going to split them up and put them into that. That's what you split the lines into. So we want to be able to use this data later so we can look up the values of a particular robot. Let's use a robot's name as a key to a dictionary so that we can search it up. If you're not understanding this and you need to do something a bit easier, then go check out my other videos which will be linked in the description below. Now let's add an entry to the robot's dictionary. So like you can open it up this dictionary. The name is the key and the value is a list of data that for that robot. Robot's name equals battery intelligence and image file close and then here I'm just going to test it out by writing print robots. Okay so I know a way to fix this and um, what you need to do if not line you continue. Just ignore that. There you go. Now it comes up. Make sure you write that. 
I don't like that. And that's so then it comes up. Now we can remove the print robots because we've already tested it out. Why don't we display the robots in a much more interesting way rather than that? Let's display them as a trump card with an image and data for its intelligence and usefulness. So first we need to ask the user what they want to open up. So while true robot equals input choose your robot. Okay, then here I'm gonna write if robot this is seeing if it's in the dictionary, if the robot's in that dictionary, then you can look up its data. If robot in robots, then print robot robot. Let's test our code. There you go. So it comes up with all the data so you can. Now it really wasn't that difficult. If you are finding it difficult, then like I said, maybe you might need something a bit easier. So just go check those videos out instead. Now what do we do if that robot doesn't exist? Like that's what happens, but like why don't we give a message if it doesn't come out? So else prints Robot doesn't oh, to because when you write a quotation mark, it will just stop the thing, um, stop the speech. You must put that slash in front of it so then it doesn't stop and lets you camera. There you go. So now. Robot does not exist. Now we're going to use Python Turtle to display the robot data. So I'm just going to import the turtle library at the top of your of the script and set up the screen. Let's add a robot. And import star. Now here I'm going to write screen equals screen screen dot background color. When I'm just setting it up, will be white. Put the pen up and. Hide the title and then the code starts. Okay. Now let's add the code so that the title prints out the name of the robot. Let's just style it up. I'm going to write Arial 14. Right. Name add the robot's name. The font is equal to the style, and we need to align it in this center. There you go. You see, I'm just easily comes up. You can change the style if you want. So we can go from Arial, you can try things like Corian. Yes. Corian or Veranda or Times. Or Times. So yeah, you could just try some different ones. I'm gonna stick to Arial. 
There you go. And you can also change it from bold to normal or italic. Like that. I also like the bold. Now we need to add the states for and the data for the name of the trump card. So let's store stats. While I'm writing print, I'm going to write stats equals robot and robot. So we can access the stats for the robot and items in a list. So stats in, in bracket zero is intelligence, stats one is battery, and stats two is the image name. We need to add code for all of them. So the same we did with the name, we have to do that for battery and intelligence. So battery stats zero points equals style and line equals center rights intelligence that's stats and equals style align equals center now we aligned all of them to the center which means they just go on top of each other to stop that we're going to have to add a bit of extra code like set heading minus 90 and then in each thing it needs to go forward by 25 forward by 25 yeah There you go, the rainbow. So right now it's not working. Later on, I'll show you how you can clear it off each time you're about to write a new one. So finally, we need to add the robot so we can complete the display. We need to add an extra line up here. Where I mean, that we need to write screen dot register underscore shape image and now to add a lot of code here so we can position and stamp the image so I'm going to write go to 0 100 shape stats 2 set heading 90 Stamp then set heading is minus 19 and then forward 60. Now let's test our code. Okay, let's try testing the code. <clears throat> I'm gonna write bird works fine, rainbow. Yeah, and space. So it works perfectly fine. However, the pictures and the description are overlapping. And like I said earlier, I'll teach you how to clear it. So to clear it, you just right here, right underneath style, I'm going to add another line and I'm going to write clear. So now if we try again, bird, then space and rainbow much better now it clears it so then we could read the writing um now here's a quick challenge can you add more than one if you need the pictures if you go here onto the where the code is and go on project materials you'll see all here are all the pictures for each one so let's say I click on dog, there's a picture for the dog. 
So I'm going to just skip past this bit and then I'll show you how it is in the end. Okay, so I think I've finished and it works. However, I think there's too many um, lists of cars to remember. So I think it might be easier to add the names here. So when we write choose a robot, we write the list of names. So right here, right underneath, I'm going to write Prince. There are how many robots are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven robots. So, choose a robot. Then you have all the lists, and then you just have to pick one. But say hair or yellow bird. So, now I have, if you did that right, I have one more challenge for you. And if you did it wrong, that's all you had to do. You had to create, just create all your own numbers and the name, and then add the picture in the end. Now, do you think you can add more stats to the robot? So right now, the only stats we have, we have the battery, intelligence, image and name. Do you think you can add more? For example, speed or usefulness. So for this, you'll, for each one, you have to add data to the file for each new category. Then add the new category to the code that read in the data. And write the new category out when you display a trump card. So I'm going to skip past this again, and then in the end, I'll explain it to you. Okay, I think I finished. I added all of the states. So what I did, I added here. I wrote a speed and usefulness, and I added that. And I also added them here. And then in the cards text, I added the numbers for them. So let's see if it works. Space. Yep. Rainbow. Bird. TV. Hair. Shades. And yellow. And then last one, a made up one. Let's say wind robot doesn't exist. Perfect. So there you go. That's how you make a robot's trump game. So that's all we have for today. To play the game, all you have to do with your friend, share them the link and both of you play. Whoever has the highest score wins. And remember to send me what you've done by email or DM me on Instagram. Bye!